Hello everybody, this is Fresco Productions, and today I'm here with um, SP4449 Productions to do the Southern Pacific tier list. So, um, um, 4449 Productions, um, what's our first engine today? So, uh, let's see. What shall we start with, Mr. Thurman? Steam or diesel? Hmm, how about we start with steam? So, first we're going with the Southern Pacific um, 280C9 Consolidations. Let's see. As much as pencil and are so enjoyable, especially from the Southern Pacific. Let's see. We do have a Southern Pacific C9 consolidation in Colfax Chronicles, if I'm getting this correct. Yes, we do. Anyways, about that. Hmm. Even though it's a consolidation, some people would think it's not too special, so... Let's place this in B tier because they are so awesome. Yeah, uh, we're putting this in B tier. What's our next locomotive, Mr. Thurmond? Okay, our next locomotive is going to be, uh... Hmm... The Atlantics. I know... Atlantic. I know Atlantics. literally nothing about them. Nope, same here. So, let's see... Let me see if I can do research on the Atlantics, but I mean, the Atlantics are nothing too special, so... C tier? Yeah, C tier. Um, anyways, the next engine we have next is the Moguls. Um, let's see... I'm actually quite... Actually, the Moguls... Wish they'd build a model for them in RSS. Or whatever. But anyways... Seriously... Yeah, um, not, uh, not much information is found on them. There's actually, like, a few moguls from the Pacific that are preserved. For example, 1673, which was built in November of 1900. Yes, quite. We're going to, um, put this one in, a uh, B tier, because it, it was, um, kind of a vers versatile locomotive. Like, um, you could get it to do anything, as long as the train wasn't too long. Yeah, let's just place it in B tier for now. Anyways, okay. Sure our next locomotive. Okay, the next, next the next engine we got on our list is the um is the Southern Pacific uh P10 um Pacifics. Actually, we're um ST. actually all the P classes um because no, it would take too long to put them in our in their own tiers. So um. Yeah, we're putting them in A tier because um, well, well, they're they're um Pacifics. I mean, of course, they're Pacifics. They're wonderful. Indeed, and um, be being built in the 1910s, they quickly proved um to be um quite the um engine for the Southern Pacific. So we're putting them in A tier for this one. What's our next locomotive, Mr. Thurmond? Next, we're having we're getting the Southern Pacific Cab Forward. S tier. Indeed, S tier. Um, I don't know exactly when these when these were built, but I'm going to search it up post editing. Um. So let, all right. So the first one was. So I don't. There's like way too many cab forwards. So let's start with the AC one. Oh, yeah. no, I don't. Wait a minute, no. No, the only valid one is the AC-12. And everybody knows that. So we're going to be putting this one in um, A tier. However, it's not quite the best engine on the Southern Pacific. Because, um... Actually, there's no reason we should put them in S tier. The cab forwards are love. The cab forwards are life. They were able to be used on every um, steep gradient along the Southern Pacific's network, including the, including um, Salt Lake Pass and Donner Pass. And uh, oh yeah, and they um, they wandered onto Sherman Hill a few times. And I actually find the cab forwards to be actually quite a special and rare locomotive, as as of today. Southern Pacific 4294 is the only cab forward locomotive in the United States existing at the moment, and it was the last one to ever be built. That's some very nice information, um, uh, 4449 Productions. Anyways, our next locomotive on our list 
Get ready, folks. Is the GS class. S tier. Yeah, you're yeah, automatic S tier. These things were the poster boys of the Southern Pacific, and for good reason too. Um, being built in the during the Art Deco um era in the 1930s, these um things quickly um uh, gained a name for themselves. Um, there, we also have um two characters um in our um our respective shows that are um GS threes and GS fives. Actually, no, um, G- GS four, GS four. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. However, the GS2s um do do look kind of ugly. Yeah, let's be honest, the GS2s and GS3s are actually pretty identical. And the GS6 is actually were just copies and paste Easter versions of them, except that the sky that the side skirts were removed. Exactly. The GS classes were so good that they actually that some of them um made their way out onto the Western Pacific. And actually, here's a good Here's actually a piece of information you might find interesting. There's actually trains fo- trainsy photos of t- a couple GS2s in semi daylight. Well, that's and there's re- actually well, that's really cool. Oh, but I didn't freaking ask. Yeah, but there was also one other the thing that the semi day it did exist in real life. It did re- exist in 4439. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, S tier, S tier, they're just great locomotives all around. Um, next we got the, um, the Boston and Maine Berkshires, oh boy. F tier, F tier, F tier at once, F tier at once. No, 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 we're putting them in their own special tier. We're putting them in, um, we're putting them in, uh, what comes after F? G. We're putting them in G tier. We're, we're giving it its own special tier. That's how bad it is. The garbage tier. Isn't that just wonderful? It, exactly. It's just... And everyone only it's, like... Each of them, that ever, there's like six or seven of them that existed. Apparently, they were originally bought to make T1 Birches. But however, they proved to be so terrible. Indeed, terrible. Not to mention the fact that it looks like an looks like a teenage young boy going through his emo phase in the two thousands. Oh God, it is more horrifying than spinach kettle. Hey, hey, we're not getting canceled today. Um, forty four forty nine productions. Some people actually like spinach co. Ugh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, true. So yeah, G, G for garbage. We're putting putting them in G for garbage. Now, something a bit better. This the EMs, the Southern Pacific MT fours. S T F. Yeah, S T. Um, being built in the um, nineteen twenty five or six, I think. Um, they also became a um a um pretty important piece, a pretty integral piece in the Southern Pacific's motive power. All the way yeah, up, in, uh, all the way up until the end of steam in 1950s, um, eight, I think. No, it was 1957. Yeah, but at the same time, yeah, about that. There's more mountain type classes than the MT4s. There was also the MT1s, MT2s, MT3s, and the MT5s. Uh, oh no, those are dead to me. Oh really? Those yes. Are dead to you? Yes, they are dead to me. Womp womp. Yeah, they were. Yeah, but anyways, they would have been withdrawn with, between 1953 to 1958. And none I, of them survived. I, you know something? None of them survived as far as I know. What is it, 49 <laughs> Productions? Also, it's a shame that none of these magnificent locomotives are preserved. Indeed, you can go cry about it in the um, designated crying quarter. <laughs> Yes. Anyways, automatic S tier for them. Yeah, S tier. Um, actually, I'm starting to run kind of dry because I um, for some reason, my memory is um doo doo feces today, and I can't remember um much more of the Southern Pacific oh, right. locomotives. So um, there is actually one. So there's actually one Southern Pacific locomotive. Actually, don't, I really don't really know much about, but we should just talk about it anyway. The Southern Pacific E twenty threes. What the hell were those? 
I don't know, there were four four O's that were numbered fifty. Like the only image of I could find was number fifteen hundred. Yeah, I'm not gonna question that at all. Anyways, we're um. How about we move on to these Southern Pacific shop switchers? Even though they were weird, um, they, they were kind of okay. However, we're not good. Oh, this actually labels as the S class. However, there are so many versions of the S class. There's even that we're not even going to go through them all. We're just going to label them the S class. And also, we're not going to go through them all because it's just going to take forever. Hello, everybody. Um, Fred Thurman here. I am sorry to um, interrupt the um, video, but um, uh, trust me, it'll be worth your time. Have you been in need of a of good quality row scale models lately? Yeah, whenever you look into the toolbox in Roblox Studio, they're all crap models. Well, head on down to the Frisco Productions official Discord server and in the model releases um, channel. There we release models every Friday, or when we feel like it. Unfortunately, at the time of recording this, we only have one product. The Southern Pacific 422 Overlands. While these might be our only models out at the moment, they, s they um, still have a good um, amount of detail and come with several features, including a camera and animated inside valve gear. Besides that, there's not much more, but anyways, back to the video. Okay, now we're going to venture out um, onto um, diesels. So first we have the GP nines. B tier. Yeah, B tier, B tier. Um, I don't forget we also have two characters in our respective shoes that are modeled after GP nines. Indeed. Um, the, these um, the, these nice little diesels, these quaint little diesels, were um, were able to be employed on both. Uh, on all kinds of du duties. Um, that's why they have GP in their name, standing for general purpose. They're able to go on a, they're able to go on switching duties, passengers, and freight alike. Yeah, and they were, yeah, they were even placed on commuter services. Okay, now, but, uh, now, we are going to. We, we are going to um look at the um the F sevens. In, oh, no, in all paint case, schemes, case. in all paint schemes, the bloody nose paint scheme, Black Widow, and Daylight, S tier. Okay, yeah. Also, can't forget the Kodachrome livery. Oh, yeah. And the co Wait a minute, they were the Kodachrome livery? Yes. You didn't know that. No. Oh, no, wait, no, not the F units. I thought you were talking about. I did not have a clue what you were talking about. <sighs> you goofy goober, bro. <sighs> Wait, okay, next the SD40 2s. Oh, yeah, the SD40 2s are SD40. No, 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 S tier. They were the workhorses of America and they still are to this day. Oh, yeah, fair point. And, um, what about the GP40 2s? B tier. B tier as well. Now let's go to the GP 7s. Actually, no, 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 no. They're too similar to the GP9. So, um, yeah, how point. about to? Uh, actually, how about an Alco PA? Seven, what? Wait. How about the Alco PAs? That's what I just said. Um, oh, yeah. despite one of them getting stuck in the snow at one point, I made a video by, about that, by the way. Um. Yeah, and you also couldn't uh, use an Alco PA for the video because you have to use what is available. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, we can't really, like, yeah, we really can't blame you for that. You needed to use what is available. It's been over a year since that video came out, and there still isn't an Alco PA available for row scale. Yeah, it's highly unacceptable. We recommend a row scale builder make one and I, in different variants. And there's no way in hell I'm making one. No, no, you're not. But anyways. What is our next locomotive, Mr. Thurmond? Okay, we're going back to steam locomotives. So how? So um, did you know that the Southern Pacific had Mikados? Yes. Yes, I did. I forgot exactly I what did. class they were. They were like MK something. Okay, we're gonna call them um MK somethings until I can find more details on them. 
Okay, so how about this? Okay. Let's use an example. Okay, so uh, how about this? How about we use an example? How about Southern Pacific 745? Oh yeah, so 745. Um. I know absolutely, um, absolutely nothing about, um, about these engines. They just existed, so okay, we're, there we go. we're putting them in C tier. Okay. One of them okay, are preserved, have, however. Okay, I have the classification. Mr. Thurman, I have the classification for this for 745. It was the in, in K5. Nice. So let's just, let's just say the MK series is Makata's of the Southern Pacific. So let's just say C tier. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but they existed. So and they did they work. So, so, um, C, C, C tier for these engines. Okay, and now we're moving. We're moving on to um some of the um some of the larger engines. We're, we're moving on to the big so guns what? now. We're moving on to okay. the Southern Pacific um four ten two types. S tier. Yeah, as to they were able to conquer any steep gradient that that you know, that you put them on. Um, yeah, it's a shame oh, that the uh, model they the model jointed rail made for them isn't around anymore. So if anyone could um yeah. hand the file over to me, that'd be nice. Yes, but anyways, however, the good news is there's actually a Southern Pacific 410 to preserve today. However, they labeled these things the SP class. SP1s, SP2s, and SP3s. Yo, Those were the only three classifications yo, for them. Yo, yo, there's actually one preserved. I gotta look that up. Search up Southern Pacific 5021. Oh, I see it. You get what I mean? I mean, at least there's some. We have one preserved. Anyways, what's our next locomotive, Mr. Thurmond? Okay, the, did we already do the ten wheelers? No, we never did the ten wheelers. Oh yeah, the ten so, wheelers. They were basically larger versions of the two six O's. They kind of existed, so we're putting them in C tier as well. Yeah, don't forget that at some of them were actually put place on Southern Pacific's Fire Brigade. Fire Brigade? What was that? Uh, did you? I do not know this. Um, I didn't know that. Know that. Um. Anyways, search up, actually, search up Southern Pacific twenty two fifty two was actually yeah. It's even though it's preserved, it was actually where is it? Okay, so uh, for this next one, we're going to be moving on to one of the chunkier engines of the SP, which were the AC nines. SGF. No, they were kind of problematic when it came to the tighter curves of um of um routes like Donner Pass and Sherman Hill. Those were the nine thousand. Wait, that's the nine thousands you're talking oh, about. Oh, this oh, is oh I'm, Pacific, I'm sorry. Not Union Pacific. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, if nobody else does it, um, Union Pacific tier list in the future, guys. Yep. Anyways, is um. Do you actually want to know what I mean by the 22 feet, the, some, one of the 10 wheelers actually did Southern Pacific firefighting? Here, take a look. Oh, wow. Now, anyway, what's our next locomotive, Mr. Finch? Actually, I think there's a, um, I, I think that's all the engines that we have for today, or at least the engines I give a crap I'm searching up. Yeah, fair oh, wait a minute, no, there's one more. Oh no, this that'd be good. The Southern Pacific Krause Mafia. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. Um, engines, the um, hydraulic what? diesel engines. What? That thing? Oh uh, wait. It's preserved today, so, it, um... How did one of these get preserved? It looks like a Decepticon. I have no idea. No, no clue at all. But anyways... It looks like a Decepticon on wheels. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah! That's actually not all the locomotives. What about the Fairbanks Morse Train Masters? 
Oh yeah, those existed and then they were scrapped. C tier. Yeah, C tier. But I did what like, else? but I do like the Train Masters a lot, so C tier. No, no, no B tier. Yeah, yeah B tier for them. It's most befitting. Indeed. Um, I think that's all the engines we have to cover for today, so subscribe to me and SP4449 Productions on YouTube channels, and um, I'll see you guys later. This is First Go Productions. And SP4449 Productions signing, signing off. off. And let, and I, and let us know. I, I wish you all a good day. And let us know if you have any other Southern Pacific locomotives we've missed. Yeah, um, what he said. Anyways, goodbye, everyone.